Hi, everybody. So today we are going to do a read aloud on the story, Cindy Moo. And it's about this really cute cow and something that she is determined to do. So we're going to learn about that. But before we do that, there are some tricky vocabulary words in this story. So right behind me are a list of six words that are used in the text. And I thought going over them would really help you understand the text better. So the first word is debate. Debate means to have a discussion or argument about something. It doesn't have to be a bad argument, just maybe two people don't agree on something and so they're debating about it, about what is the right choice. The next word is scoffed. And that means to speak or think in a mocking way. Sometimes you might scoff at an idea about something. It just kind of means that you don't aren't really taking it seriously. The next word is confessed, and that means to admit um, to doing something. It's not always meaning that you're confessing to doing something bad. You just might confess that, yes, you've done that. The next word is waltzed. Waltzed means you kind of move in a dancing sort of way. Um, if you're walking from one place to the other, you might just not walk. You might kind of walk and kind of move your body around. The next word is bovine. Bovine means anything that has to do with cattle or cows, which would make sense considering there's a cow on the front page. And the last word that I felt like you would need to know or should know is marveled. Marveled means to be filled with wonder. So now that we've gone over our words, once again, those are debate, scoffed, confessed, waltzed, bovine, and marveled. We are gonna go ahead and read. Cindy Moo. And this story is by Lori Mortensen. And this is an AR test if you are interested in taking it. Here we go. So usually these pages here in the beginning just provide information about the author and the illustrator. But the illustrations here are extremely important. So I'm going to just put them up to the screen and give you a second to really look at what's happening. Okay, it's very important. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. So as we can see, it's the little girl in the house reading that nursery rhyme and Cindy Moo has been listening. Over at the Diddle Farm, a little bit past eight, the cows all heard a nursery rhyme that caused a great debate. Diddle cows stood in the barn and listened to each word about the cow that jumped the moon, amazed at what they heard. Across the moon, cried Buttercup. No way, said Honey Bun. The moon's too high and much too far. It simply can't be done. And as the cows scoffed at the thought, a voice rose loud and true. Why can't a cow jump to the moon? The voice was Cindy Moose. The cows began to argue. Each took a different side, but in the end, they all confessed that none of them had tried. So Cindy Moo raised up a hoof and said that it was true. If that cow could jump the moon, by golly, I can too. She's very determined. As Cindy Moo waltzed to the field, the others gathered round. She jumped that moon with room to spare in one grand bovine bound. She pawed her hooves. She shook her head. She ran and picked up speed. And with a mighty moo, she jumped. across a prickly weed. Told you so, said Honey Bun. Too bad, said Buttercup. Cows weren't meant to jump the moon. Why don't you just give up? 
But Cindy Moo ignored her friends. She'd made a solemn vow. She'd jump across the silver moon as soon as she knew how. The next night after grazing, she caught a stunning sight. The moon was perched upon the hill, a ball of silver light. Cindy Moo let out a snort and charged up to the top. But when she reached the grassy peak, she skidded to a stop. Instead of staying on the hill, much to her surprise, the moon flew off the grassy ridge back up to star-filled skies. Cindy Moo plopped on the ground. Would it be for naught? Jumping to the moon, she said, is harder than I thought. Back inside the barn that night, the worst of all came true. Rain clouds swept the moon away. Now what was she to do? She couldn't jump what wasn't there. Perhaps the herd was right. The moon and cows would never mix, not then or any night. But late that night, when raindrops stopped, she peeked outside and found the moon had slipped down to the earth upon the rain-soaked ground. Hmm. Look at her looking at that. She's very curious. Cindy Moo kicked up her heels and raced with all her might. And with a happy moo, she jumped across the moon that night. Her friends came out and marveled much. Miss Moo, you've done it now. A cow can really jump the moon as long as she knows how. And ever since that rainy night, the cows do not debate. Whenever rain clouds pass their way and it is growing late, they gaze upon that puddled moon and jump it two by two. And guess who leads the diddle herd? Of course, it's Cindy Moo. So that is the end of Cindy Moo. And just a friendly reminder, these are the vocabulary words that we read and saw in this book. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and everybody have a great day. Take care.